Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you just so happen to be stopping by for the very first time, thank you so much for being here. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'm hoping that on your way out that you click that subscribe button. Now for today's video, I didn't want to use any sort of lighting. So what you see hitting my face right now is the actual natural daylight from the sun that's beaming through my window right now i didn't i wanted you guys to see what the what the um what the setting powders would actually look like in a natural daylight setting so i decided hmm let me just film this during the day and use the natural daylight so for this demo i'm going to be using two of the most popular setting powders on the market right now it's this one from sasha it's their buttercup powder that's been around for for some time can't remember when exactly but um and the other powder i'm going to be using is this one from Laura Mercier. It's her newly launched translucent loose powder in medium deep. So without further rambling, let's just head straight into the demo. Okay, so as you guys can tell, I've already half prepped my face. I'm already wearing my foundation and concealer and contour. So my next step would be to um, set my highlight with my setting powders. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off using the Sasha Buttercup powder. I'm going to apply Sasha on. <sighs> Let me give y'all a joke, right? I never remember my left side and my right side. So that little pause right now was just me singing the Father Abraham song because. Anyway, let's just let's just use don't no laugh. It's it's really a problem for me. I don't know why. I'm just gonna go ahead and use this fluffy brush from Real Technique and I'm going to just dip it into the Sasha Buttercup, this little bit that I threw over in the in the, in the cover. I'm just going to tap it off because I don't want too much. I'm not going to be baking, I'm just going to be pressing it into my skin. I'm going to go ahead and go on my left side, I got it right this time, <laughs> my left side and just go ahead and press it in, press it in lightly, like that so this is usually what Sasha looks like whenever I've pressed her in my skin so what y'all think okay so this is the Sasha side I'm going to use the same brush and then I'm going to open my Laura Mercier by the way right if you're medium skin tone I've tried this like a couple of times no well, not more than a couple. I've been using this ever since I got it. I've actually rest down Sasha and I've been using this but if you're thinking about using this and you're somewhere between the medium skin tone as you guys can see this runs really rich and it looks kind of reddish so um, for somebody like me who has golden undertones I actually am very very careful when I'm applying this hence Hence the reason why I use um, a mini fluff, fluffy brush versus using the actual wedge that most persons would use whenever they're baking. I just, I just think I have more control whenever I use a brush. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm just going to go ahead and, to go ahead and put the Laura Mercy on the right side. Oh my God. What's wrong with me? Why can't I remember my left from my right? And this is what the Laura Mercy looks like I want to make sure I add enough so you guys can actually see what the finish actually looks like so Laura over here and Sasha over here now let me just give you guys my honest review on this well before I do that right let me just give you guys my um, a little backstory on my experience with translucent or I should say setting powders. I think setting powders became really, really popular. I mean, they've been around, but the most popular one that came out that everybody was crazy about was when Kim Kardashian actually posted a picture of her, how she, how she did her highlighting and contouring using the Ben Nye banana powder. And um, it actually went viral. Like even me, as black as I is, I went and bought some banana powder. Yes, I did. Anyway, um, only to later realize I didn't really like it. I really, really didn't like it. It was just, 
it, first of all, it was too yellow for my skin. And then it was just really, really dry. Like whenever you pressed it under your under eyes, it just made your skin. Like, especially if you have, I mean, I have oily skin and imagine that they suck out my skin and had my skin look, look dry. So imagine somebody who has actual dry skin. It must have looked like... I don't even know what to say, but um, when I realized the banana powder was not for me, I actually switched to using just um, the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. My experience with setting powders, I actually did fall in love instantly with the Sasha powder, but then um, when Laura came out, you know, she kind of threw some punches because, you know, I was like, damn, this looks really, really good. And there's actually no camera flashback versus when you use the um, the Sasha Buttercup powder. Like I find if you use too much of this because it's it's kind of, it kind of, well not it kind of, it runs on the yellow side. If you use too, too much of the Buttercup powder, you can actually see um, a camera flashback. Even with the with the older Laura Mercier powder, the, the actual translucent one, when I first got my hands on this and I was using it, I realized I did get camera flat flashback from this as well, which is what I really didn't like. So um, I kind of rest her down for some time and I went back to using just this. Or if I use my Sasha Buttercup powder, I would kind of tone it down a little bit with with some of this, or if I couldn't find this, because sometimes, you know, sometimes you move things around, you can't find them, I would tone it down with some of this. So, um, I'm just talking because I want to give the powders a chance to kind of melt in my skin, and just let you guys decide which side you think is, which, which side you guys actually think you like the most. Is it Sasha, or is it Laura? Now, if I had to pick a winner here right now, right now right now right now one more right now <laughs> okay if i had to pick a winner right now i would actually say i would go ahead with Laura. <laughs> only because i like the way how um the finish is and because most importantly there is no camera flashback so all in all I would have to say this one is probably my favorite product right now. Now, I'm not saying I have to, let me just raise my voice for a little bit. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the buttercup powder, but in terms of the finish, the overall finish of it, I would give Laura the crown right now. That's just my opinion. That's just how I feel. That's just how I see what's going on here. I prefer this one. So, anybody else have a problem with that? I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, while y'all cussing me out, let me just go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Okay guys, so that's it for this video demo. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, not it, but the video, yeah, the video. Um, also, I want to hear from you guys down in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Which side do you prefer? Is it the left side with the Sasha Buttercup powder or is it the right side with the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder in Medium Deep? Wow, that's a long name. Now, let me just put a side note or a footnote or a disclaimer. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Sasha Buttercup powder, but I'm saying in terms of finish, since I've started using the Laura Mercier powder, I prefer that. And one of the important things, or one of the things that I realized that there is absolutely no camera flashback. You can go ahead and you can just bake with it well if you if you if you're dark skin like me because if you're more on the medium skin tone you i'm not sure if you can actually bake with it because it, it, it is a little rich not a little rich it is rich it is in fact rich so i'm not sure if you can actually bake with it if you run on the medium skin tone line but i absolutely love the satin finish of it I, the one thing that I love about the Sasha Buttercup powder is that it has somewhat of a luminous finish, which is why I continue to use it versus using the the pressed powder I told you guys I used to use. So um, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but for now, my preference in terms of finish, 
I prefer using the Laura Mercier powder. So hopefully I cleared up some sort of confusion there. If some persons might have been thinking, oh, she's saying something wrong. If something is wrong, the Sasha Batika powder. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying for now, Laura Mercier, I'm going to be riding with her for a little while. For a little while, just for a little while, you know, or maybe for a long time. Who knows? We'll just see how long the ride goes. For now, we, we know how fat the finish line is, so we, we can just ride until we see something over there, a red line or something. Anyway, um, I'm not going to ramble on for much longer. Um, I'll talk to you guys real soon on my next upload. Until then, as always, bye-bye.